This podcast is going to go over how to clean up your switch at the end of the lab. So this particular switch, switch 2, I ran the command copy run start on, so my config was saved. So if I reload the router, which essentially at the end of the lab you're going to turn the power off, so when the next person comes in they're going to turn the power on, we want them to have a clean configuration. So we're going to reload this switch and look at what comes up. So the next class comes in, they're ready to start their lab and they, they turn the, the router on, the router or switch on, in this case a switch. And they look it on here and they type enable and ask them for a password. But you didn't set the password to what you're supposed to set it to, so we can't get in. So then somebody has to do password recovery. So uh, we want to make sure that we, uh, if we save the running config, if we ran the command copy, run, start, if we did that, before you leave, you need to erase start. This will erase the startup config. And it says erasing, and you want to say hit enter to confirm that. And now, uh, we do not have a startup config. If we do show startup config, it's a startup config is not present. So now, if we reload the switch, it will hopefully come back up without our config on it because we didn't have a startup config. So let's, we typed enable, it didn't ask us for the password, we do show run. We don't have any configuration on in our running config. So that's good, that, that is part of what we need to do. But the VLAN database is held outside of the running config. So even though we cleared the running config, we still have VLANs that exist on this switch. And while this isn't a huge deal, it can cause problems, so we're gonna go ahead and clean it up anyway. And the way we do that is delete flash colon vlan.dat. That is the file that holds the VLAN database. It's going to say delete file name and it says VLAN.dat. You want to hit enter. It's asking you if that's the file name and if it's wrong, you can type something else. A lot of people want to type Y and it says delete flash Y and there's no file called Y. So you want to delete flash colon VLAN.dat. You want to hit enter to accept the name and then it's going to confirm and you say yes. So now you have no we do show flash, you have no vlan.dat file. Um, however, if you do show vlan brief, the vlan still show up. We need to reload the switch again. All right, reload the switch. All right, it's back up. So now if we do show vlan brief, we should have those VLANs should be gone. So see VLAN two and three are gone. Uh, so that was good. So that is how we want to clean up our switches at the end of the week. Let's try something. Show flash. Seems like, yeah, Never mind. Uh, seems like there was a way people accidentally deleted things they didn't want to, but I don't, I don't think uh, that's gonna happen in this scenario. So our other switch, we never saved the running config. So you may be thinking, oh, hey, Rich, I didn't save the running config, so I'm golden. I can just power down, right? Well, let's reload it and see what happens when it comes back up. Yeah, the config looks clean, but the VLANs are still there. So if we create VLANs, before you leave, you need to delete the vlan.dat file. And it's reloading, and when it comes back up, it should say, Uh. All right, so the VLANs are gone. So that's how we're going to clean up our switches uh, at the end of the week, end of the lab.